Hey, welcome to the last part of the Prim's tutorial algorithm, or Prim's algorithm tutorial, rather. Um, now, I know it's been a long time since the last, um, not really episode, but the last part came out. And that's because I've had a really hard time trying to see how to explain all the stuff that I put in here concisely, so I don't want to waste your guys' time. Uh, so, what I did instead of making a video where I create the code is I went through and I really commented everything here. So this is the final code for the Prim's algorithm maze creation. Okay, as you can see, there are a lot of comments. Let's just make this full screen. There are a ton of comments here, and it really should be explaining everything. Um, but if for some reason, there's something that you don't understand when you're looking through here, uh, go ahead and just PM me or leave a comment and I'll try and explain it for you, okay? So, there's some things that I didn't explain just because I forgot or something like that, but there are also things that I left out, like for instance this return. What does this return mean? Uh, I, I assume that you guys know what uh, the return statement is. And same with the for each and stuff, because if I didn't assume that, then it would take forever. Uh, to make anything be explained. So uh, I have the final code here, uh, fully commented. Now let's check out the project. So here's basically the final project. As soon as I press play, it goes ahead and creates a maze. Oh, this one's really bad. Check this out. The exit's right here and the entrance is right here. Right, so with this I'm starting with the entrance. Um, in the lower left corner, and the exit at the very end. So the last, the last um, cell that gets opened is considered the exit. So right there we had it right next to the entrance. Here it's out here. Try again. Right here. These are pretty easy. Right here. Oh wow, these are really easy. Um, but I think part of it's because we're only doing a 25 by 25 here. Let's go ahead and try this with something a little more realistic, like a 50 by 50. Of course, you could also manually set your own exits or endpoint, um, but that would that would require you to change the script just a little bit. So if we go ahead and look at it, the entrance is right here, this lower left corner, and the exit is all the way up here. Yeah, so this is a pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. Menu. Change the ultimate graphic size to 25 and 27. Right, so as you can see, the entrance is in the lower left and the exit's way out here. And that maze took us 15 seconds to create. So here we have a little debug script or debug log. In the script right here, let's see, yeah, right here. So as soon as the maze is created. This little debug thing gets called, so you know how much time to, to create. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you with a 100 by 100 creation. This shouldn't take that long, um, or relatively. I mean, you know, 100 by 100. That's really large. That's what uh, 100, 1,000, 10,000. Um, cells in the grid. So we're going to be working with a fairly large set. Yeah, it's taking a long time to even generate the grid itself. Anyway, um, now something I should point out is that the Supremes algorithm, I don't think it's the most efficient way to create a maze. Um, and oh, I'm sorry, I should have said that at the beginning. There are really simple ways to create a maze, but I don't think they're very elegant. Um, the reason I like Prim's algorithm is because it's very interesting conceptually. And uh, it, it's actually meant for not maze creation, but minimum spanning trees, which is something you can look up. And graph theory and that kind of thing. But one of my friends suggested using a depth-first search. and I can make a tutorial for that really quickly. 
it, it's very easy and just not very elegant. For some reason, I really like watching this um, creation with the Crimson Ring. All right, so I'll be doing a cellular automata tutorial later, and also anything else you guys request. So I have a lot of Unity projects. Um, I'm trying to get on some uh, game development teams, actually. So that'll be fun. Um, so if, if there's anything that you want a tutorial on, uh, I'll try and help you out. And yeah, so looks like the maze is almost finishing pretty soon. And let's see. And it is Is it done? It's not done. Oh, there we go. 102 seconds taken. That's pretty good considering my last inefficient application of the Prims algorithm took around 15 minutes. <laughs> so yeah. But check out this, uh, check out this list. The set is a list of the 6,000 elements inside this set. So yeah. Anyway. Um, I guess that's it. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see, but the exit's right around here. So that'd be a pretty devastating maze to go through. Anyway, yeah. So, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed. And just another quick thing. Um, like I said, this, uh, took 102 seconds. My old algorithm took around 15 minutes, which is pretty bad. 102 seconds, I'm not sure how good that is, but it's a lot better than my old one. So, there are a whole different bunch of ways to use Prim's algorithm to create maces. Some are better, some are worse than others, but I tried to do a really efficient way. Um, I, I tested it against my other algorithms, and this one performed the best. So, or my other applications of Prince algorithm rather. They're, they're not really my own algorithms. But using the uh, list of lists and that kind of thing, that really helped speed up the time. So that's why some of these things are very confusing. Like the list of lists, that's kind of a abstract concept. So, so yeah, if it was a more difficult thing than you were hoping for, uh, maybe I'll do a tutorial, yeah, for the depth research uh, way to make them use. And that should be a lot easier. Alright? But, if you look at this code, I think this is a really solid code. And I have it commented very thoroughly, so you guys should check it out. Um, maybe tinker it with yourself. And try and understand what's going on. Alright, cool. Thank you for watching.